In the Long Wedge Kingdom, there lived a king who loved honeycombs. But guess what? He had tripophobia. How does one like honeycombs and have tripophobia at the same time you may wonder? Interestingly this king existed. Yes he had tripophobia and loved honeycombs. Wanna know why? It's because of the honey. Honeycombs had honey, so he loved them. One day a wicked sorcerer who enjoyed seeing the king suffer saw this king try to overcome his fear of honeycombs so she put a bitter potion in an honeycomb the king admired so much. This was to get him to hate honeycombs for life so she could have them all. Unfortunately the king wasn't aware of her plan and he went ahead to try this honeycomb. Boy, did it make him hate honeycombs more and more. She watched him from one of her windows and laughed so much till she started choking. <coughs> In the far west region there was a terror that plagued a city. It was a giant terrifying monster called Bigfoot. He was big. And gigantic. And enormous that he covered the whole city. Funny enough some women loved him though they've never seen him. Some said oh my god. I can't wait to marry him one day. He sound like such a strong man. I want him to protect me anywhere we go. One day a hunter desperate to find Bigfoot stayed up throughout the night in the woods and peeped through a tree to spy on Bigfoot. He saw the most mind-blowing revelation ever. Bigfoot was no monster but a regular citizen whose shoes were mighty big oversized that whenever he walked it made him so uncomfortable and sadly it made so much noise whenever he walked. All thanks to the drunken shoemaker that made his shoes so big and he couldn't get a refund for it. In the long east city of Zuna, there was a man who controlled aircrafts. One unfaithful day, an aircraft bullying 300 did a thing which made it to start crashing towards the ground. It was a rather unfortunate incident until the aircraft man did this thing where he flew from the wind and stabilized the aircraft, and it continued moving peacefully. The passengers were so marveled and excited, they started singing songs of appreciation to him while chanting his name. He grew so excited he forgot to control the powers that enabled him keep the plane stable. Things started going south and the plane and its passengers found themselves in an entirely different country. It wasn't as bizarre as they expected because the country wasn't bad after all. It was a very rare beautiful place they ain't never seen before. They all immediately got down excited and became tourists of this magnificent ice country. In the far edge corner of the shores, there lived a starfish named Mikey. Mikey was a happy boy for many years until once upon a time he got tired of staying on the rocks on the sea. He said to himself sobbing. I wish I was a greater star not just a bored sticky starfish on a rock. I wanna be a star. A star. I wanna be one with the universe a part of the constellations. I wanna be a major. In fact I want to become part of a galaxy in this universe. Yes you heard me. I wanna become a great star. Yes, indeed the star maker heard his vents and appeared to him with a pixie dust. He sprinkled it on him in his sleep. Before you know it Mikey found himself far beyond above the earth. Not just in space but beyond the space. Far beyond. Oh, he did become a galaxy for real. He did not just become a constellation. He became a galaxy. He smiled and stayed happy forever as this was what he always wanted. The green sky and blue trees. In a town far far away. A set of villagers sat down together and thought to themselves, imagine if the sky was green and grass is blue how magnificent would that it be. They said to themselves. They imagined another world where this was the case. They even went as far as spray painting the sky with a green spray paint and dyeing the trees and grasses blue. At the sight of this relentless attempt, the color man Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. At the sight of this relentless attempt, 
the color man decided to make this a reality for them. He let them have their way. They enjoyed this fantasy and celebrated months after months. Soon the seasons changed and the rains came. Their water turned green and the plants died. The villagers cried about this and realized how dumb of a decision they made. Once upon a time a moon got jealous of the sun because of the sunflower. He said to himself, what if I had a flower in my name like the sun does? What if there was a moon flower? Am I not worthy of such? I want my own flower that blossoms in the night when I shine. One day he got his own flower. He loved it. He embraced it and looked at it every day and smiled. After some days, he noticed his flowers stay the same way and didn't increase an inch. The flower couldn't blossom because the moon had no photosynthesis. He noticed his flowers only remained the same and never grew. He stayed all night crying that it rained. One day he woke up to the most pleasant surprise ever. The flowers bloomed magnificently. Glowing in the dark starry night. Lighting and blooming as the moon glowed and shined. Far far away. There were two princesses who were twins. One named Andy, the other Alexa. Alexa was the prettier twin and always charmed a lot of princes from other kingdoms that they always sought to marry her. Well Andy was in fact very beautiful but was jealous about the attention Alexa got. She got so furious. Andy was an unruly and stubborn princess. She hardly listened to what her elderly parents said. One day when Alexa was sleeping, she went to her room and removed her face and exchanged it with hers. Andy was very excited with her new look. She looked in the mirror saying to herself, Now I get all of that attention. When Alexa woke up she observed herself and noticed she bore her sister's face and started crying out of fear. She was so confused her parents came to observe the situation and started consoling her. One day a very wealthy king came to their castle to look for a wife and he chose Alexa. You need to see how furious Andy was. Long long in the ponds of Navala. There lived a tadpole who lived in the ponds. He always said to himself, One day I'd become a giant beautiful frog and an amazing princess would kiss me and I would eventually become a prince. I'm finna become a prince one day. On a faithful day, a beautiful princess who was exploring the outskirts of her village heard a cry from a pond close to where she was. She was worried and leapt closer to see where the noise was coming from. On getting to the place the noise came from, she stumbled on a beautiful big frog who was lying on the floor crying. She felt bad and moved to the adorable amphibian. The frog smiled within himself and smirked a little knowing his plot was very near successful. She lifted the frog and said, Oh, you poor thing, I want to take care of you and she gave him a little kiss. You need to- Please before we continue don't forget to like. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. See the way he transformed to a prince. They ended up living together and became king and queen for many many years. The man who ignored a pandemic. Once a terrible wind was blowing and the city advisor advised everybody to shut their windows and stay indoors for the next 24 hours. A man screamed from the top of his window. I won't close anything. He yelled. It's 350 degrees in this state I'm not closing nothing. What have you not told us before about these things? Unfortunately the wind came with a horrible pandemic. It's a tough sickness that when inhaled would cause unimaginable effects to its victims for years. This one person refused to adhere and claimed he was sightseeing. Unfortunately this weaned. Did bring the sickness his way. He kept coughing and coughing for minutes till he was rushed to the hospital. The city advisor ended up getting charged by this man for understating real issues. It was all a mind-blogging experience for the people of the city to experience. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, 
share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.